There's an earthquake chip would be really nice to get him in ice shard range. Because I think this is the biggest threat. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him earthquake me. Is he life warped? And that would that would really suck. Oh, he's choice banded. Why am I facing my choice? Oh man. Yo, what's up guys, AFC Dino here and welcome to a new video. Um, we're going to be using this team again with the Spikes Garchomp uh, last game. Uh, we made stall forfeit really quickly. <laughs> he wasn't ready for the flamethrower Garchomp. Uh, that's, that's the reason why I have flamethrower on Garchomp as well, because of Skarmory. Because Skarmory would otherwise be a real bane if I don't get the Icicle Spear hits. Uh, Ghost Command obviously. A lot, but he can heal on Bronzong and Among Us pretty well. Me and Shao too. Yeah, if you guys are interested in the team, you can check it out on Patreon. There's a Poker Base plus team building video on this team. And yeah, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Did I just see a Typhlosion? I did see a Typhlosion. There yeah. That's crazy. And the hilarious thing here is <laughs> I got him only as a fire type attack. But he doesn't know. He doesn't know though. Um gonna start off with my guard jump as well i assume it's gonna be like a low rank player quick law interesting i might skip this battle oh he just destiny bonded me okay oh then i assume he doesn't have <laughs> he doesn't have substitute so i can always kill this guy the spike here. So if he uses D Destiny Bond, I assume he doesn't have. Um... If he uses Destiny Bond, I assume he doesn't have Focusage. We'll see. Let's see if this is his defog, and then we're playing against the real team, I guess. Press to Earthquake me. And I can freely Future Sider. Not sure what he wants to do to me. Guy Uppercut. Okay. Thor's Dance Sky Uppercut, interesting. Uh, let me hit him up with the HP. Oh, he's doing 70.1%. Pretty nice. And HP Ice again. Maybe he's gonna swap, then something will take the future side. And he decides to forfeit. Okay, let's go. Next. Oh, we're just in time. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll keep that part depending on how long this video will take. Um, that's uh, quite an outfit there. Spirit, Dragonite, Memoswine, Next Control, Me, and Shao Rodom. Wonder. This guy. Uh, it's this guy up there. Dino, 600, so it's, it must be low rank. Low ranking. Um, but yeah, X Control, Me, and Shao, Dragonite, Memoswine. Oh, it can be scary if he starts off with, uh, with X Control. The start time with my guard jump. He leads Mamoswine. I'm just screwed, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, it's a novice trainer. Um, I am going to stall rock here. Um, because I will keep it up. I will keep it up versus him. Um, because it takes me out. Life orb. Cool, cool, cool. Still gonna go for rocks because because. If he wants to U-turn into Excadrill, that would be strange, considering I can just knock him out with Earthquake. So he decides to go Rotom. Um, I don't know if this Rotom has Trick, but it can also be his Defogger. So I'm gonna Toxic him first. If I haven't, if I haven't poisoned, then uh, obviously um, I don't want him Defogging for free on me. I'm gonna Toxic here. He's not Choice Scarf, so that's cool. Decides to Defog there, so this is his Defogger. And now I'm just going to Stealth Rock next. And uh, due to the Defog, he can hit his Hydro Pump though. But it's going to do like... I'm outside of 2-8 KL range, so I'm going to Stealth Rock first. If I can force another Defog, that's cool too. Okay. 
I didn't lose too much. Um, all I lost was a bit of damage from the Yin Shao. And he took a bit of damage in return, but I poisoned the Rodom, so that's pretty helpful. And if he uses something like Will O Wisp, like this, then that means um, he doesn't have Pain Split, so. What I'll do here is I'll go into my Mian Chao, then I'll start U turning. So I assume he's just gonna defog now. But this is all poison damage, and if I'm faster, if I'm fast, I can U, U turn into my Guard Chomp. And then uh, Stealth Rock again, and he's just gonna be so pressured by this. But he might also just hard swap, so that's why we U turn. If he's faster, then um, it's fine too. Because I get, then I get the free U-turn. And the more damage I get on this Rotom, by the way. Uh, my guard jump was faster, so I, then my Lucario is faster too. Um, the next time I get in my Lucario and click close combat on the guy. So he does hard swap versus me. Goes into Superior. And now I get to click Icicle Spare because... Um, because Rotom took a bit of damage, he's poisoned. Or he goes Mammoth Swine here. That can be possible too. There's no need for me to pursue there. We can just spear. That's all that. That's all damage we got off on Rotom. It, it was Willow with the Fox. I don't. I don't think he has. Um, I don't think he has Paint Split. Unless he's lacking Volt Switch or Hydro Pump, which would be freaking hilarious. I'm gonna go back into Guard Chomp here. Maybe Hydro Pumps into me, uh, but would be fine. I just don't want him Volt Switching for free. He decides. Decided to go for the Willow Wisp, so it's gonna work out in my favor again. And yeah, this Rotom is getting chipped down, so um, we're gonna keep up our hazards here. Again, we're Stealth Rock, pressuring the Dragonite, of course. As he decides to swap into the Mammoth Swine. But maybe we're gonna trade rocks here, but at least I have my rocks up, and if he wants to debug, then he has to do it for me as well. He can still Rapid Spin though, which Excadrill I'm pretty afraid of. Pretty Excadrill weak to be honest, so gotta watch out for that. But I get in my Bronze on. It tries to Earthquake me, and I'm gonna Future Side here. As he goes for Rocks. See. So, he goes superior. He's gonna hit him. Should I just Earthquake here? What is he gonna bring in on future side? His resist is Excadrill, I guess. He goes superior. Um, not ideal. Far from it, but... Um, I can knock superior out there. So, we're just gonna ice here. Goes for hidden power. Get some HP back anyway. Um, I think I need to um, earthquake the Excadrill. It was definitely in my mind that he could go into the superior. But if he wanted to go into Excadrill, I wanted to punish him. And that's basically the reason. Now Excadrill comes in. Oh, am I am I letting him get take this? Because an Earthquake Chip would be really nice to get him in Ice Shard range. Because I think this is the biggest threat. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him Earthquake me. Is he Light Warped? And that would, that would really suck. Oh, he's Choice Bandit. Why am I facing my Choice Bandit? Oh, man. Okay. But he's Choice Bandit. Pretty sure my bronze should have lived that shit. If, if Rodom lives that shit, then I'm pretty sure I should live that shit. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty weak to he did 80.3. That guy is or he's adamant joy scarfed and just got a high roll on me. I guess that makes sense. My flamethrower here.
Depends, does Amoongus get to it? 40s is a lot though. 40 is quite a bit. But I think he's Adam and Joyce Scarf. Yeah, he's Adam. I think he's Adam and Joyce Scarf. Oh, that's the case. I'm gonna lose the Memus right now. At least I got off my chip there. It sucks. I have to get his rain there. At least I still got my rocks. Big D fucks for me. Rotom is low, so Icicle Spear can definitely do something. Goes into his Mian Chao. Um, is that the play, sir? Because I still get the Giga Drain for free. Because me and Shao could have been annoying. I guess he gets a free switch into um, Mammoth Swine this way. Yeah. It really sucks though. Um, like, I, I could use Guard Jump in that regard. Uh, a Glide Score instead of Guard Jump though. But it doesn't have the same effect versus Skarmory. And I really wanted to use Garchomp. Because <laughs> if I have a Glide Score, um, Excadrill, the Excadrill matchup is much easier. That's why I chose Levitate, but yeah, Mold Breaker Drill. Yeah. Fuck. He knocked off my Rocket Helmet. He's knocked off Life War, bro. What the fuck, man? That's actually bad for me. Because. Oh, that's a smart play then. Now Memeswine comes in. I still have my rocks. So. Gotta try doing it with that. I'm gonna. He shards me, doesn't he? What? Okay. I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Among Us is actually really useful still. I'm gonna go Mian Shower. Um, I assume it's just a misclick if he clicks Ice Shard again. I get Lucario in next anyway. Yeah, now he clicks Crash. And now he should click Ice Shard. And just in case he doesn't... Oh, he was afraid of Fake Out. He was afraid of Fake Out. Oh my god. I should... I can go Lucario, uh, that way I pressure the members. I can sack Mian Chao on Excadrill. Maybe he goes Excadrill here, who knows. I don't want to go Lucario, I don't want to go Weeball yet, um, just because. Um, I don't want to go Weeball yet, just because of the Stealth Rock. Because I'll be forced to switch out anyway, but I assume his Excadrill is Joyce Scarf. I don't knock out Excadrill with Ice Shard yet, so um, gotta be a bit mindful. But maybe this guy tries to s Dragon Dance up. I think Extreme Speeding is the play. Yeah, because. Had he fire punched me, uh, that would have been fine. I beat him with Among Us. He, um, he would, he did not die to rocks, but um, I would beat him with Among Us. Then I sack Mian Chao on uh, either Mammoth Swine or Excadrill. 
And then I have my Among Us uh, left to beat the Excadrill in the end. Because this this Mammoth Swine is at uh, really low HP. So now I get extreme speed again. He clicks it back. I resist it, of course. And I think I just stay in against... Oh, no, no. I think we just sack uh, the... I think we sack the Miancho on Excadrill and keep Lucario in the back because Miancho doesn't do anything. And since I don't since I don't kill him. In, just in case. Just in case my Ice Shark doesn't kill for some reason. I think that's the most efficient way. Because I have two priority moves, so it doesn't matter if this guy's uh, rapid spins and sets up a sword stance. But I assume this guy is Adam and Choice Scarf. So I can use Among Us to weaken him. And then sweep the game with my priority move users. So we are just going for hidden power fire. I think that's the most damage. 65, brother. Oh, crit. <laughs> I was gonna say. That's that's enough damage. That's enough damage. Now I should be able to take him off with this. So we just ice shark spam. So you made it tough, but like I said, guys, I am really weak to um, old Breaker X drill. And he decided to choke <laughs> even more. No, not a choke, because he would have lost anyway. But I don't know why he swapped. Really close battle against the novice trainer, guys. Yeah, that's what. Why? That's why. Noobs on offense are still scary. I would rather face these guys on stall. Because <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. Um, should I keep it at this? Um, I'm going to play another one. Be, be right back.